There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Infograms or infograms or info. Oh, it's 3D. Look at it spin. This is a very famous old game in the horror, horror, horror genre. It would help if I could say horror. And this is another random DOS game show where I take on a game randomly and uh, see if I can figure it out. So this is Alone in the Dark and uh, we will begin a new game. Um, In the Dark. Makes sense. The Dear attorney, attorney, oh, came as a deep shock to I don't even need to speak. My uncle it's Jeremy voiced. had died by his own hand. Well, I do the declare. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. And that is the correct term, hanged. Not hung, hanged. Infograms, infograms, and that looks like a car. It's a bit difficult to tell. Hey, it's not just a car, it's a 3D model of a car. There it is. Well, that's a nice start to a cutscene. And that is a frog. That's uh, definitely a frog. I, I should probably set a timer, you know. Spooky looking house. What could possibly go wrong? Interesting animations. Gotta keep in mind this was around 1992. And something is looking out at us there. Um, that's suitably ominous. Okay. We're... Uh, I, I don't know if this is us or... Well that's not normal. Don't tell me this is going to be the game's engine. I'm getting a real sort of uh, Bioforge feel to this. Where, you know, you move forward and the camera angle is constantly changing and it's... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we, c we can skip this now. Oh, this is us. Right. So, you turn with the arrow keys. And you move with the arrow keys. You find an oil lamp. I oh, will take that. That will be useful. Um, let's go over to this rocking chair. Rocking horse. Uh, okay, it's rocking. Uh, there's, a, there's a window there. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that window. And the angle has changed. Which, uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to, uh, actions, you can throw, drop, put, uh, push, can, can we, can we push that, get it over the window, because you just know, like, you know something is gonna come through that window at us and kill us, uh oh. Yep, there we go, right on cue. Get out of there, woman. Uh, well, can we can we use the No, this is all this is all going horribly wrong. Um fight? Fight? No. The music appears to have stopped. I'm backed into a corner. I can't appear to do anything. Uh, I told you to fight. Why won't you fight? What if, what if you use the lamp? The lamp has no oil. And I'm trapped. And how many bites can I take? Good grief. Is this some sort of psychological torment? 
Look at the thing. Weird looking creature. Yeah. Uh, so if you feel weak, I was going to say we, we could just ignore it. You know? And uh, there we go. We've blocked it. Well, that's the end of that problem. So if we just leave him in that corner there. Uh, what if we wander over here to this sort of obvious... Nope. Doesn't appear to be uh, doing anything. She's moving at an absolutely glacial pace. And I can tell you the problems I have with this already. Uh, I'll probably die soon anyway. So let, let's just... Can we get out of here? There's probably some items that we needed to take or, you know... No, apparently we can't. Oh, there we go. Right, it's still uh, ominously playing the combat music. But we'll just head over here. Hey, you find a bow. So we've got a lamp with no oil and a bow with no arrows. Uh, use. Look at us go. There's probably an attack function, you know, that I'm missing. But whatever. Can we just sort of head out the door? Yep, that'll do. See you later. You know, one monster was enough. We'll just head down this corridor. And we're dead. <laughs> and that's Alone in the Dark. And I'll tell you exactly what's wrong with Alone in the Dark now. Aside from the constantly changing angle and the uh, the strange combat system that I could not grasp for the life of me, it, it has a, an inter interesting little sort of inventory system and so on. But with a horror game, you rely upon either atmosphere or graphic sort of horror. And the problem with having a horror game from 1992 is that the things that would have scared people in 1992 don't scare them now in terms of visual presentation. Uh, so these models and the pixelated backdrops and the monsters in particular, they're just, uh, they're not uh, in the realm of frightening. And I think this is a different character model. I might be wrong. Well, it, which is nice. It, it might sort of give you that almost sort of roguelike element, you know? Right. The house has claimed four lives. You're the fifth. Yeah, it's a different guy. Sweet. But anyway, that's Alone in the Dark. Who would I recommend it to? Um, I mean, if you remember playing it, if, if you legitimately played it back in the day, well, you could probably give it another swing. But yeah, it's, it's very, very long in the tooth now. And uh, while it may have been frightening, you know, all that time ago, it's not now. It's not. And if you like me chatting about random DOS games, uh, I have hundreds of other videos. Feel free to take a look. And if you like, subscribe. Ominous footsteps lead you out of the DOS video.